What's up, C-O-L? It's your man, c Mill. C from the D, coming at you with everything that's real. Today, I will be talking to you about 10 things that a narcissist can do to change. 10 things that a narcissist has to do to change. It is a lovely day, too, by the way. 81 degrees here. Sunny. It's nice. It's nice. It's not too hot, not too... Not too uh, not too muggy today either, you know. But uh, here we go. Ten things that a narcissist has to do to change. Okay. Number one, they have to realize that they have a major issue. They will have to realize that they have a major issue. These issues that narcissists, most narcissists carry, um, they stem from childhood. They stem from a bad childhood trauma. You know what I'm saying? Either uh, getting beat, uh, molested. Um, people fighting in front of them, um, seeing someone get killed, shot, murdered, uh, you know, anything that's really tragic, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if somebody could have touched them. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of different avenues that stand, that go into narcissism. So, you know what I'm saying? So they have to recognize and realize that themselves first and they have to realize and realize that they have a major issue stemming from that uh number two seek real professional help to help deal with deep childhood issues wounds and uh treachery you have to seek real professional help because like if you're trying to really get attack this thing you got to really seek some real help you can't be like going to an alley mechanic, you know what I'm saying? You want to go to the shop shop, you know what I'm saying? So you want to seek some real help. Um, number three, start holding themselves responsible for their actions. Start holding themselves responsible for their actions. You know that's the last thing that a narcissist wants to do is hold themselves responsible for their actions. So that is, that's one thing that they have to start doing immediately. You know what I'm saying? Not lying, not being secretive and all that stuff. It take it's gonna take a lot of work. And if they really serious about it, they're gonna have to uh, you know what I'm saying, get the help from other people around them too. You know what I'm saying? And you can't get you getting mad and blowing up, you're gonna have to take it easy because this is a delicate situation, you know, trying to make this type of transition because you gotta you gotta fight them demons off, you're gonna have to read your Bible and pray. You know, and I ain't saying, like, be a square and just, you know, I'm talking about, like, really talk to the creator. You know what I'm saying? Whoever he is, whatever his name is. Uh, yeah, we use Jesus Christ and Jehovah Jireh. But just in case that ain't his name, say to the creator of all or the most high. You know what I'm saying? But I say them all, you know, just to make sure I'm covered. on some real talk, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they need to learn positive phrases and constantly say them. You need to listen to all the positive energy stuff you can get. I ain't saying don't go out and have no fun. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, like, you need to really, you got to really attack all the uh, negative aspects of your mindset. You know what I'm saying? You can have them in your subconscious. You can have them in your um, forefront. You know what I'm saying? Uh, your frontal lobe, you know, but you want to try to get rid of all the negative aspects of your thinking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, number five, learn to have empathy for others. That's going to be a rough one because, you know, the narcissist is really like selfish. You know what I'm saying? So they have to you really going to have to like try to model yourself after somebody that's around you you know what I'm saying try to be more you know giving you know what I'm saying even if you start with little stuff giving somebody some you know a sandwich i don't know some socks i don't know just by start with little stuff man and, and ask uh Jesus Christ the most high you know Jehovah Jireh the creator of all to help you with this task i'm telling you um uh, number six, uh, they will have to be aware of backsliding back into narcissism. 
So if you feel find yourself slipping back or somebody that's close to you that you ask to help you with your transition from narcissism to try to be a more loving and caring and empathetic person, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to, you know what I'm saying, be aware if you're starting to nut up again on some narcissistic stuff. Like you're gonna have to take, you know, yourself or hold yourself accountable and really watch it. Uh number seven. Got to learn to be patient. Because you know narcissists are real impatient. But you want to they want you to be patient with them. You want to be patient on both sides of the spectrum, Mr. or Mrs. Narcissist. You're gonna have to relax it back, man. And once again, ask God, Jehovah Jireh, Jesus Christ, the most high, the creator to help you. Because you can't keep doing all this bull and think people want to hang around you. Ain't nobody going to hang around you. You're going to be by yourself. You're going to die by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You better change it up. Uh, number eight, they have to learn how to value and validate themselves. You know what I'm saying? That's what's crazy to me with narcissism. How you want me to validate you, but you, you want to beat me up into loving you and beat me up and enslave me into validating you and loving you and liking you. That's not how it works. You, you can't force nobody to like you or force nobody to validate you. That's going to turn into hate, you know what I'm saying? Because you're trying to force some stuff. Anything that's forced, man, it ain't going to work. Never. Never. You know what I'm saying? In some cases, with narcissism was really extreme. You know, the person that was being narcissized flipped out and hurt the person that was narcissizing really bad or killed them. So it could backfire and blow up in your face or they badly mangled or dismantled or, you know what I'm saying, straight up. So, you know, everybody needs to take it easy, easy. <laughs> uh, number nine, they have to learn how to get closure from their childhood drama and any other drama that they might have that might feed uh, the negative aspects of narcissism in their mind, body, soul, and spirit. And you know that's the demons too. You got to get rid of the demons, man. You got to get rid of them. You got to tell them that they ain't want it. You got to tell them that they can't live here because you know demons try to find a house to live in. And the house to live in is your, is your body. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So you can't host them. You know, you got to let them go. They got to get out of there. Sk Skedaddle. <laughs> and uh, number 10. Never quit quitting from being a narcissist. You have to really get the mindset of you're going to win and beat this thing. You have to really get the mindset of you're not going to try to uh, devalue somebody else in which or devalue them. You want them to place value on you. That is ludicrous. That's asinine. That's, that's retarded. You know what I'm saying? So you got to stay on your P's and Q's and never quit quitting. Hey, somebody telling you stepping out of line with your with slipping back into narcissism, you need to, you know what I'm saying, tighten your belt up and get yourself back together. You know what I'm saying? So these are 10 things that a narcissist could do to help them change. Hey, I appreciate y'all. Hit that.